Minus one third X. As a freshman at St. Joseph's High School in South Bend, Gavin Provost faces the typical challenges in the classroom. And our last step, Gavin, is to... He made the honor roll during the first quarter, but sometimes that's not good enough for Gavin. He comes from a good family, and I know they, um, just like all the teachers here at St. Joe, have high expectations for him, and, it, uh, and he has high expectations for himself. From high expectations in the classroom to just having a good time with friends in the cafeteria, all part of freshman year. He gets along with everybody. I think the, the freshman class, he's one, of, he's one of them. You know, they're a family, and he's one of the family. But St. Joe almost lost Gavin before he ever arrived. When Carol Provost was four and a half months pregnant with Gavin, he was diagnosed with spina bifida. They, you know, wanted to send us to a geneticist and they recommended, they called it termination of the pregnancy. And we said no, and you know, we wanted this baby. And, and he's been a joy, a complete joy ever ever since. Not that it hasn't been hard, but you know, just lots of surgeries. 10 surgeries over a period of just 15 years. Spina bifida is a neurological disorder that limits development of the brain and spinal cord. It prevents Gavin from walking. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that it's hard because, I, because I've been in, in a wheelchair my, my whole life, so. So it's really not, not, not that hard. I've gotten used to it, so it's just no big deal. I'm just like, hey, I'm in a wheelchair. That's the way it is. The way Gavin sees it, he's just another 15-year-old trying to make it through the struggles of high school. But there's something else about Gavin. All it will, all it desire. He may not be able to walk, but he can swim. I'm just not as good at, at, at it because I can't use my legs. Gavin swims the backstroke, 200 medley relay, and 200 meter freestyle for St. Joseph's swim team. When he was a baby, I mean, literally, he would swim from one end of the bathtub to the other end. I mean, he would go underwater and just very comfortable with water. Go! Comfortable in the water and comfortable out of the water. Just one of the guys during a swim meet with mom watching from the stands. He just gets in the water and he does it. and. And it's just very matter of fact about it. And I think that, that that attitude will carry him far in life. I I would say that the pool is a symbol of my life. That it I will reach the end. It's just it's it's just gonna take me a long way than other people. Mm -hmm.